Positively Georgia is sponsored by Montlick and Associates. This summer, hundreds of whiz kids show off their creations at a national invention convention. But only a few make the cut. The elite list includes nine inventors from Metro Atlanta. CBS 46 anchor Revere Denza met up with several of the winners to show us what makes this story so positively Georgia. <laughs> Young people are always coming up with brilliant ideas to impact our lives, and these girls have done just that. They're not even old enough to drive yet. It's not with this one. These young inventors of Fulton Science Academy have created a water heater sensor destined to save homeowners thousands of dollars in repairs and replacements. An invention so genius, it's pending patent approval. You get to say, look, I made this. I actually did something. The trio is among nine Metro Atlanta students to win big at the National Invention Convention and Entrepreneurship Expo in Michigan. The convention featured more than 400 students from across the country. We were like sitting there and they called our name up and then we were like really excited. But then the second time and third time we got awards, we were like, I can't believe this is happening. So the way it works is... Ariana Islam says they initially so struggled to come up with an idea. And then our math teacher came up to us and then she told us that her water heater was leaking and we decided to, you know, check that out. When we looked inside and there's all this rust and like eroded like metal and it was like really gross. The girls had mentors and they worked with professional plumbers and manufacturing companies to test out their invention. We planned stuff out and we all had to make like um, a portfolio and it's like we have meeting logs and so like we had agendas so what we were going to do next. And more than 200 hours. <laughs> Don't stab it. And three oh prototypes God. later the sensor was born. Oh water heater costs a lot. It costs um, somewhere from $700 to $1,300. So it saves a lot of money. Here's how it works. When rust and sediment buildup starts to eat away at the metal rod, tiny probes connected to the rod immediately send a signal to the sensor. It signals that, hey, your anode rod's life is getting pretty short. You might want to change it before the rust takes over your water heater. Robotics teacher Yasin Kaya says, don't be surprised if you see this invention in stores in the near future. Why not? They will be have it in the market. When you go to Home Depot, maybe you will see their product in the shelf. Kaya is used to overseeing award-winning teams through the Academy's first Lego League. Students have placed in the top categories in regional and national competitions over the last few years. Winning is not the point. I always tell the students. The point is what we learn. And then we are I, we are trying in our school to make sure 21st century problem solvers. Still, these girls are dreaming big. We're already thinking of ideas and everything for the next competition. Ariana, Saryu, and Sophia are expected to receive their patent within a year. Next up, the first Lego League regional competition in December. For CBS 46 News, I'm Gurveer Dinsa. Impressive.